This is the solution to written homework 11. It says simplify the rational expression. Okay, so the best thing to do is to factor the numerator and the denominator. So the numerator factors pretty easily. So we want two numbers whose product is 8 and whose sum is 9. So that it would be uh, 1 and 8. So x plus 8 multiplied by x plus 1. then I'll leave the denominator alone for a minute. So now we also want to factor the denominator. <clears throat> so we want two numbers whose product is uh, 2 multiplied by negative 56. So that's negative 112 two factors whose product is negative 112 and whose sum is 9. Okay, uh, well, how about negative 1 and 112? That sum is 111. Okay, that's not what we we're looking for. Uh, negative 2 and 50, uh, 56 well, that'd be 54. That's not what we're looking for. Um, hmm, let's see if we can get to it quicker with the calculator. So, 112 divided by 4. 28. 4 and 28? No, that won't do it. How about 112 divided by 6? Okay, not divisible by 6. How about 8? Uh, so 8 and 14, uh, that won't do it, but I can see that 14 is one of the factors. How about 7? Oops. 7 and 16. Ah, the difference of that is 9. So, <clears throat> so negative 7 and 16, and the sum is 9. So we're so happy about that. That means that uh, 2x squared, just the denominator now, 2x squared plus 9x minus 56 is 2x squared minus 7x uh, plus 16x minus 56. And then if we factor, if we take the greatest common factor out of the first group, that would be x multiplied by 2x minus 7, and then plus uh, the greatest common factor of 16 and 56 is uh, 8. So that would be 8 multiplied by 2x minus 7. So notice that 2x minus 7 appeared in both places. So the fact that it appeared in both places is indication that probably made <coughs> some correct moves. So the factorization is uh, x plus 8 multiplied by 2x minus 7. That's the factorization of the denominator. And therefore, the original expression that we were factoring is, in the numerator, x plus 8 times x plus 1 divided by x plus 8 multiplied by 2x minus 7. The x plus 8's cancel, and you obtain x plus 1 divided by 2x minus 7. And this is, of course, only true when x is not negative 8. <clears throat> okay, so now we want to do 
similar thing for this one. So the first thing I'll note is that dividing by a fraction is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, which is to say that this is the same as x squared plus 5x plus 6 over x squared minus x minus 12. And instead of dividing by this fraction, I'll multiply by its reciprocal. <coughs> that is to say, uh, oops, yeah, x squared minus 7x plus 12 divided by uh, x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay, now the best idea is just to perform a lot of factorization. So factoring the top left, that will be x plus 3 multiplied by x plus 2. Bottom left, uh, negative 4 and positive 3. So x plus 3 multiplied by x minus 4. Uh, product is 12, so negative 4 and negative 3. And 2 and 1. Okay, so now let's notice all the cancellation. So the x plus 3's cancel, <coughs> the x plus 2's cancel. Nothing will cancel with this x minus 3, and this x uh, minus 4 will cancel, and nothing will cancel with that x minus 1. So the only thing that remains after all that cancellation is x minus 3 <coughs> divided by x minus 1 because there was nothing to cancel this one, there was nothing to cancel that one, and all the other things were canceled. And of course this is only true when x is not negative 3, when x is not negative 2, <coughs> when x is not, so what else was canceled? So the 3's and the 2's and the 4's. Okay, so, and when x is not because notice, for example, that this expression, this expression can be evaluated at x is 4. Because it would be 4 minus 1 is 1 in the numerator, and 4 minus 1 is 3 in the denominator. That would be fine. But this expression cannot be evaluated at 4. So this one is only equal to that one when we're away from 4, and negative 2 and negative 3.